for this video, we're gonna be integrating trigonometric functions. So, simulan muna natin sa mga integrals ng ating trig functions. To start with, we have the integral of cosine x dx is equal to sine x plus c. The second one is the integral of sine x dx is equal to negative cosine x plus c. The third one, the integral of secant squared x dx is tangent x plus c. The next one is the integral of cosecant squared x is negative cotangent x plus c. The integral of secant x tangent x is equal to secant x plus c. And the integral of cosecant x cotangent x dx is negative cosecant x plus c. Now let's have our examples. Number one, how are we going to find the integral of 5x cubed minus 7 secant squared x dx? So the first thing is we need to distribute our integration symbol to each term of our function. So yung first term natin ay magiging 5 times the antiderivative or the integral of x cubed dx minus 7 times the integral of secant squared x dx. Dito sa first term natin, we just need to use the power rule. So we add 1 to our exponent and we divide kung ano yung nasa exponent natin. So in our first term, we have 5x to the 4th over 4. Then in our second term, we have 7 times the integral of secant squared x which is this, tangent x. So we have 7 tangent x plus C. And this is our final answer in number 1. For our example number 2, we have the integral of cosine x over sine squared x dx. So, anong pwede natin gawin dito sa ating problem? So, the first thing is we can expand our denominator. So, since we have sine squared, we can write this as sine times sine. So, we have cosine over sine times sine dx. Then, from here, we can separate the factors. So, ano no ba ang factors ito? We have 1 over sine x and cosine x over sine x. Kapag pinag-multiply natin ito, we will go back to this form. And using the trigonometric identities, 1 over sine is from the reciprocal identity which is equivalent to cosecant x. And cosine over sine is a quotient identity that is equal to cotangent x. So we can replace these two with this two. So our 1 over sine becomes cosecant x. Our cosine over sine becomes cotangent x, then dx. Then how are we going to integrate this? So we can see this in our table. So here, so the cosecant x, cotangent x, ang integral nila ay negative cosecant x plus c. And this is our answer in number 2. For our third example, we have the integral of sine squared x plus cosine squared x over cosine squared x dx. And as you can see from this given, the numerator is a Pythagorean identity, which is equivalent to 1. So we can write this as the integral of 1 over cosine squared x dx. And from here, we can use also the reciprocal identity. So, yung 1 over cosine squared x is equivalent to secant squared x. So, ito papalitan natin ng secant squared x. And the integral of secant squared x is tangent x plus c. And this is our answer in our number 3 problem. For our example number 4, we have the integral of 3x to the 5th sine of x to the 6th power dx. So, how are we going to integrate this? As we can see, we have a composition of function. So, we're going to use the u substitution for this problem. So, what will be the value of u? Since this is our composite function, we can use x to the 6 as the value of our u. So, let u is equal to x to the 6th power. Then, du will be 
the derivative of x to the 6th power is 6x to the 5th power, dx. Then let's find the value of dx, which is du over 6x to the 5th or 1 over 6 to the 5th du. So, it's a substitute na natin sila sa ating bagong equation. We have the integral of 3x to the 5th, then this becomes sine of u, then dx is equivalent to 1 over 6x to the 5th du. And from here, we can cancel x to the 5th. Also, yung 3 tsaka 6. 3 becomes 1, 6 becomes 2. So, we have sine u, this is 1 half du. And we can put out 1 half dun sa ating integration symbol. We have 1 half times the integral of sine u du. And the integral of sine u is this, negative cosine x plus c. So we have 1 half times negative cosine u plus c. Then we can multiply this. So positive times negative, so yung negative mapupunta sa 1 half. So we have negative 1 half cosine, then the value of our u is x to the 6th power. That's why we have cosine of x to the 6th power plus c. So this is our final answer. Now let's answer our fifth problem. Find the integral of sine of cube root of x over 6 cube root of x squared dx. So ang una natin gagawin dito is to convert it to exponential or gawin nating exponent yung bawat radical na nakikita natin. So dito, this becomes 1 third. Dito naman, this becomes 2 third. So yung panibagong form ng ating given is the integral of sine x raised to 1 third over 6x raised to 2 thirds dx. Then what will be the value of u? u is x raised to 1 third. So let u is equal to x raised to 1 third. Then du becomes 1 third. So gamitin natin ang power well ng ating derivative. Lagay natin ang exponent as the coefficient. So we have 1 third. Then x, we subtract 1 from our exponent. 1 third minus 1 is negative 2 thirds. Then dx. Then pwede natin ibaba ito since we have negative exponent. So baba natin siya doon sa denominator natin. So yung panibagong form nito is dx over 3x raised to 2 thirds. So how are we going to find the value of dx? So we just need to multiply both sides by 3x raised to 2 thirds. Para mawala itong 3x raised to 2 thirds sa denominator ng ating dx. And multiply natin siya dito sa du natin. So dx is equivalent to 3x raised to 2 thirds du. Then substitute na natin ito sa ating panibagong equation. In our numerator, we have sine u over 6x raised to 2 thirds times the value of dx is 3x raised to 2 thirds du. And from here, we can cancel x raised to 2 thirds. Also, yung 3 at 6. 3 becomes 1, 6 becomes 2. So we have sine u over 2 du. So we have 1 half. So we can put out 1 half dito sa labas ng ating integration symbol. We have 1 half times the integral of sine u du. And the integral of sine u is negative cosine x. So we have 1 half times negative cosine of u plus c. So we can multiply this, 1 half becomes negative, then yung u natin, ang value niya is x raised to 1 third. So substitute lang natin. And this is our final answer. And this is the end of this video. If you find this informative, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. God bless us all.